another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video we're gonna solve the problem reverse linked list so let's get started so to reverse a linked list we just need to change where all these nodes point to just point in another direction and then we change the head so let's say we have this input linked list the head in this linked list is the one node and when we reverse it we will get something like that the head will be five and one will be the tail so to solve this problem we're gonna initialize two variables that gonna help us reverse this linked list the first variable gonna be the previous and we assign his value to be null the second variable gonna be equal to the head of the node means the first node then we're gonna start iterating throughout the linked list after this iteration we're gonna change the direction of the pointer of the head to be pointing to the previous node which is beginning of the iteration gonna be equal to none then we move to the current variable to be at the next node and move the previous variable to be at the place of the current node and then repeating the same process that we have done before by changing the direction of the pointer to be pointed to the previous node and the current to be the next node and the previous to be the current node and we're gonna repeat the same process until we reach the end of the linked list where the previous gonna, gonna be at the last node, node and the and current the gonna be equal to none. and then we return the previous node which is gonna be the head of the reversed linked list that's it guys so let's jump at code in the solution first we initialize a two variable the first one previous to be none and the current variable to be equal to the head of the linked list then start iterating throughout the linked list we initialize the variable called them to be the next node then we change the direction to the previous node and move the previous variable to be the current node then move the current node to the next node which is them then finally return the previous which is the previous which will be the head of the reverse linked list so the solution has a time complexity of all fan because we're iterating throughout the linked list once and for the space complexity complexity is all fun because we are not using any extra space memory so it's a constant time thanks for watching see you in the next video